Hey everybody, it's Thursday, May 6, 2010, the day after Cinco de Mayo. Thanks for stopping by. I want to weigh in a little bit on the, uh, the big Dawa Films versus uh, Thunderfoot uh, controversy where, you know, it, it started out with the uh, provocation, uh, provocation of Muslims by Matt Stone and Trey Parker on South Park. Now, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, they portrayed Muhammad a while back, and it caused no reaction whatsoever, virtually no reaction. And um, the reason was because they showed Muhammad, and it was totally respectful. It was not uh, an attack on Muslims. It was not a provocation of Muslims, and nobody even seemed to notice it. In fact, everybody has pretty much forgotten that he was ever on there. So after the, uh, it wasn't the Theo Van Gogh incident. I uh, apologize, I, I got that wrong before. The Theo Van Gogh incident was uh, an incident where a uh, filmmaker created a movie which was basically hate speech, which portrayed Muslims as sort of monstrous uh, fiends and woman abusers which, you know, no, no doubt that women are abused all over the world. Women are abused by Muslims from time to time and by Christians from time to time. Um, but people seem to really concentrate on any crime committed by Muslims, any, any abuse of women committed by Muslims. They really kind of focus in on that and they ignore the crimes and the abuses of others, it seems. So... That's what that movie was sort of about. It was sort of demonizing Muslim men and portraying Muslim women as basically helpless victims, which, of course, they are not. They're not helpless. They're not victims. So, you know, they're, they're um, human beings who can fight for themselves, and they do. Um, so, uh, and Theo Van Gogh, the, the guy who made the movie, now he was murdered, which was wrong of course and horrible very brutal killing no need to say that it is really bad because it was we all know uh, and the the incident that I was thinking of was the um, cartoons now uh, Muhammad appears on South Park nothing happens okay then the cartoons in um, Norway I believe uh, depicting Muhammad as a bomb as a uh, basically saying that Islam is terrorism. It's not a religion, it's a crime, which, um, you know, is racist hate speech, again. Uh, and so there were death threats against those people. Nobody was actually killed, but there were threats. And, uh, the, and, and there were uh, riots, and, and uh, they say that 100 people died worldwide because of the riots. Um, now, interestingly enough, the riots were in third world countries where people are, you know, regularly abused, okay? But that has nothing to do with it. There were no riots in America. Notice that, first of all. And there's a lot of Muslims here, but there were no riots. There was no violence here. Uh, so, I mean, that's one thing to think about, okay? So, uh, you know, at that point, Matt Stone and Trey Parker said, you know, obviously they forgot that they had already showed Muhammad and nobody said anything, so they said now... You know, well, the Muslims are at it again. They're trying to f prevent us from our having our free speech, and now we've got to show Muhammad. And then the network censored them, and, you know, not the Muslims, the network. Okay, uh, so now remember in all of this that you have to remember the context in which this is happening. You have to remember that we are invading more than one. Muslim country at the moment, okay, we just took over two Muslim countries that had not attacked us, okay, uh, we're attacking two other Muslim countries and threatening to attack another Muslim country, okay, at the moment, and thinking about attacking two other Muslim countries, so this is a huge deal, okay, if you, if you, you know, add up all the countries we're currently destroying and occupying, um, currently just destroying currently threatening and currently thinking about destroying, that's a, a large part of the Muslim world. <laughs> okay, and so 
while all this is going on, we can say, okay, we have freedom of speech, so that means we can get in the media and issue racist hate speech against Muslims because we have freedom of speech, right? Just like the Germans in, in World War II, or before in the 30s, they had freedom of speech, so they were perfectly, perfectly fine for them to stereotype Jews and depict them as, you know, shadowy terrorist figures, you know. That was, uh, that was free. there's nothing wrong with that, that's free speech, right? So now that's what we want to do. Okay, so now uh, Matt Stone, Trey Parker, again, want to show a Muslim, and again, the network makes them uh, hide him. Again, they want to show Muhammad. Again, the network censors them and makes them, you know, hide him, and they put him in a bear suit. And so somebody uh, issued a death threat to Matt Stone and Trent Parker, probably the millionth death threat that they've gotten so far. And at this point, Thunderfoot decided to denounce what he termed the Muslims, not the extremists, not the fanatics, the Muslims. And he uh, issued this, uh, this thing that, okay, nobody sees it as a threat. Okay, nobody thinks this is a threat at all. It's totally just, uh, you know, just a non-threatening thing to say. But okay, but here's what he said. He said, um, your existence is at our whim and pleasure. Now, I'm paraphrasing, okay, but this is, what, this is basically what he said. I'm not getting too far off track, I promise. Okay, so he said, your existence is at our whim and our pleasure. And we can destroy you anytime we want. Okay, so, you know, if you, if you awaken the sleeping giant, meaning our fury and our wrath, you'd better pray to your God. Okay, because, like I said, your existence is a favor that we're doing you out of, out of our benevolence. We're allowing you to exist. And that privilege that we're giving you can be revoked at any time okay so don't screw with us or we'll destroy you and who is he addressing this to he's addressing this to the muslims okay and uh, when people people read all sorts of things into this like he's saying okay you know if you try to uh, abridge our freedom, freedom of speech, you know, if you, if you are Muslim tormentors and overlords, you know, the Muslims that are just telling us everything to say and, and ruling over us, if you keep doing this, we're going to, to, you know, kill the bad Muslims, right? That's what people are trying to say that he, he means, but he never says that. And it's a ridiculous thing to say anyway. It has no basis in reality, okay, because there's no Muslims telling us what to do and say. I mean, you were talking about a, a despised, marginalized minority, you know, a despised, marginalized minority, which is regularly subject to hate crimes. They're telling us what to do and what to say. Um, I mean, I guess now they're the studio executives, too. Right, because the studio executives are one, but you know they're telling us what to do and say. So now we're going to destroy the Muslims, and by that we only mean the bad Muslims. We don't mean anybody innocent. We're just going to obliterate the entire Islamic world, but we're only going after the bad guys. Okay, that's sort of what people are telling me, and they don't see that as a threat. And and um, that is just I mean that the fact that people don't see that as a threat. Is really illuminating if you think about it, because if that's not a threat, then I mean that basically means that uh, Muslims are not human beings, because you're not threatening a human being when you say that your existence is at my pleasure and whim, and I can destroy you at any time, and I will. That's not a threat if you're talking to a rock or you know an insect. That's a threat if you're talking to a human being. Okay, and when um, when Dawa Films said, you know, admittedly using the wrong language, he said basically, if you try to to murder innocent people, I will kill you, and and I won't allow you. That was a threat, because he's a Muslim. Thanks for watching.